In the previous video, we took a look at event modifiers. In this video, we'll be looking at a more specialized category of event modifiers, namely so-called key modifiers. As the name suggests, this category of event modifiers can be used with keyboard events. Say that we have a text input, for example, and we want to do something if the user hits the enter key, such as submitting a form or something like that. We could do that by using the key up event with the VON directive and the enter key modifier. So let's see what it looks like. I'll first add an input of the type text and I'll add the VON directive here with the key up event. And the event listener, I'll just call pressed enter. And as for the key modifier, I'll just say dot enter. The enter modifier ensures that the expression is only executed when the user releases the enter key. I'll just quickly add a method which shows an alert just so that it's easy to test. So I'll go ahead and add the methods object and a pressed enter function like so and an alert saying you press the enter key. Running the code, you'll see that if I enter a bunch of characters, nothing happens. But if I press the enter key, then we'll see an alert. I just used the enter key modifier as an example. There are several other key modifiers built into Vue.js, such as tab, delete, ESC for escape, and space, just to mention a few. And if you need other keys than the available key modifiers, then you can use a number as the modifier instead. This number represents the character code, exactly as in vanilla JavaScript. If I replace the enter key modifier with the number 13, which is the character code for the enter key, then we should see that the alert is still showing. So let's test it. Again, nothing happens with other characters. Now I'll press enter and we get the alert. In the previous lecture, I mentioned that modifiers can be chained. Perhaps I want the event listener to only be invoked when I press either the enter or space key. First, I'll just replace 13 by enter again as it improves readability. Like so. Then, after the enter modifier, I can add another modifier by simply adding a dot followed by the name of the modifier. In this case, I'll use the space modifier. So I'll write dot space. What this does is that the event listener is only invoked if I press either the enter or the space key. Before taking the code for a spin, I should probably rename the event handler to something less misleading as well as rephrase the alert message. So I'll just call it pressed something interesting, like so. And I'll rename it down here too. And you press the enter or space key. Now let's test it out and verify that it works. So now I'm pressing the enter key and we get the alert. Now I'll press the space key, and we also get the alert. So that was just an example of how you can chain key modifiers. And that's all there is to key modifiers.